Okay, so here's uh, The Witcher 3. Another test after Spider-Man Miles Morales. We're testing the same area that I tested with Direct X uh, DX12. Okay. Um, if you recall my previous video, we we're getting an average of, I would say, 70, 70 to 80. Now we're getting more or less 10 um, FPS more to 20 FPS more with the LSS enabled. I'm just going to show you here. We've got a graphics. We got the same ones, including the DLSS there. But remember that this is a test with uh, DLSS 3, frame generation. So for that one, you go to display, and there it is. I was able to enable it um, and to see the, the impact of it. Go back here. Okay. You can see some additional FPS, at least in this area. Do know that the sharpening actually affects the the amount of FPS. So let's just uh, let's go to video gra graphics, and I think yeah here. So before I think it was like that on that other test. Still looks like you gotta look at Gerald's uh, face. And you'll see what I mean. Now let's just make that go up a lot. Like a lot. And you can see the sharpening of everything, including his face. Like really, everything is super sharp. If you jump into the water, you actually get wet. And we're still getting that amount of FPS. We're getting around 90 there. Compared to the other one, which was, I believe, was between 70 and 80. So, and I understand that the FPS actually, I mean, the DLSS actually helps, um, or it gets affected, or it has a better, better boost, depending on the area that you're in. So just take that into consideration. But we're getting, at least I feel that we're getting 10 to 15 FPS more. So we're on par with also Windows cases that I've seen. I think a little bit above. And that's it. So now I'll be testing Hogwarts Legacy because I know it lags on the on the first town, or maybe the only town that's there. And that's it. So here you got your average for the same area. Hope you like the video. Think positive. And I'll see you on the next video.